Hi, right, welcome to Terrain Tile video number three. Um, if you remember back to the first one where we laid out the centre of the tile, we worked out where roads could go and used the marked tile as a template to say where the starts of roads and rivers were and then I marked up some squiggly lines to represent rivers. Well, here's the river concept on the tiles. Now, here we go in terms of the tiles. I'm not going to be able to demonstrate it all in a video because it would take far too long. So I actually have a sample tile set there. Basically, to talk you through it, each tile was marked up and I've actually painted this white to make it very simple to see. I uh, marked up the tile where they want the river to be. Then what I did was apply a texture for the riverbed. Now it's counterintuitive. I've not added any banks for rivers or banks for roads or marked anything more than just where I want the river to go. So all I've done is paste in a texture medium it's in the camera and it's like little white beads in a, a clear medium and I plastered that on with a knife no more than an old butter knife then let me move those out of the way so you're in the center of the camera a bit more I've just painted acrylic artist acrylic on really roughly as you can see and then I've dry brushed different tones of different colour paints just to get the river bank or the river bed colour as I would like it. But as you can see as you go on, the base, really rough base coat of artist acrylic creates a really nice textured finish on the final one. One where you don't have to add anything more coarse, such as sand or anything to get a trodden dirt look. So now you're interested in this bit and that's the shiny riverbed. So that is actually the water and I'm going to do a quick demo in this one. So here we have a finished tile using all the texture paints and the dry brushing. This is done exactly the same time as the terrain tiles and then what I use and you've seen it before maybe is what's called a heavy structure gel whichever way around on the camera now this is a looks white it isn't white it's a clear compound when it's dry very cheesy very much like uh, soft margarine or butter now for rivers, it is a case of basically spreading it on like, like butter onto Rivita. This material dries quite swiftly and dries clear. Now I put for the river, I put one flat layer on and left that to dry. Then I used a rather aggressive brush and I stippled on a couple of different colour lays for the river weed. Now because the thing with the river, once we're turning a tile around, the flow of the river will of course change. So that was done there and then for the top coat, all I did was put a little bit more on and then to get flow, I'm actually pulling the lines in. Or, you know, to get a ripple, use the edge of the knife at a tilt and just pull it along. 
Now the structure gel doesn't reduce much when it dries and so all the marks and the effects you create on the surface now will actually be within the finished clear very shiny water looking tile. However some of you will be wanting to still know how I do water that's a little bit rougher ocean sea coast. Well coast is you can do it with a knife one of the better ways is to use the back of a spoon and it is literally if I can get the camera right is put the spoon down and pull it up and you can see you're getting quite heavy peaks and you can pick and choose where you wish to put those peaks I'm moving them around because I can't quite see my video display sorry quite high peaks and they will dry as they are there so when it comes to a river now if you were doing a paddy field or something with weed just run it flat and then put your clumps of grass or whatever you're using as the rice or paddy stuff in there and it will glue them in down as it dries it will fix them in place so that's how that's created now we go back to the tiles as you'll see by putting a layer of clear down first then putting your weeds on and then putting on more of the gel structure you're building up the river ripples moving it around with a knife to create the banks it's a visual trick really all I'm doing is using the plants the rocks the rocks were put in while wet so they stuck down I'm putting in a lot of clump foliage on top of the base grass and that creates your riverbank visually there we go so you can see it okay so it's a nice flat tile so if you were using this um, the terrain tile storage you can slide, you know, they we slid in one above the other. So also, just to point out, you can see the texture of the base coat coming through on the tile and dry brushed, which the artist acrylics are great for creating texture. And that's where the heavy gel comes in. You can actually apply that to acrylic paint, which is what it was designed for, to create even more texture on your bases and your base coats to gain depth and so you can mix the the gel the gel medium you can mix it with sand there are other types there's matte versions of this which are like uh, polyfiller almost but the one beauty about using the artist materials they're all designed to be flexible they're all designed to dry swiftly and not impact upon the surface of either canvas or the board that people paint on. So when we're using these, eventually, I mean this has been drying for a day, two days because of the thing, they're pretty flat and they will dry flat. And the trick is if they're not quite dry and flat, put them in the sun for half an hour, get them warm and then just bend them back, pull them out of the sun, let them cool down and they are dead flat and that's how to do it it's not the best work surface because I'm a bit rippled here so that's how the rivers are created that's how you mark up train tiles what you'll also notice here is I've actually got some cobble which if you use it in certain ways 
can meet our roads up. So you're going from cobbled road into a Ford and out the other side, as said in the first video. So, I hope the three videos help explain some of train tiles. It's um, a little tricky when there's so many techniques involved. But, feel free to contact Sri Seren. Let us know what you think. And uh, there's free leaflets to do with the terrain tile system and other gut paint guides available. And don't forget, there's also the guide to painting MDF kits um, available, which will go through many techniques on painting MDF. So thank you. Bye. Thank you.